to when you are FM 103.7. Did you know that today is World Health Day? And if by hook or by crook or by circumstance, luck of the draw, our exercise physiologist, one of the more healthier guests that we have rolling around, <laughs> has uh, made his way to the studio. Oh, sorry. Mark Wells. Well, what's wrong with that? It's, uh, you're, you're in the health business? I'm in the health business. It's yeah. one of those things of do as I say, not as I do more, oh, okay. more times than not. Fair enough. Well, I, I think I, I half the stuff I talk about, I sort of, yeah, it's a bit like that too. I get you. All yes. right, well, World Health Day. And does this mean that this is the day where we kind of like have a, a almost like a New Year's health thing and just go, let's just completely reinvent our lives or is that not the way to do it? No, it should be the way to do it. You've got to start somewhere, so why not start mm. today? And as we're talking off air, you know, one of the, a lot of the biggest killers that are going on in the world at the moment is like stroke, mental health through suicide, heart attacks, um, what else do I say? Diabetes as Diabetes, well. Diabetes, kidney, yeah. Yeah, all of these things are lifestyle orientated. Um, it's not as if we just wake up and we get a disease. It's uh, it's one of these things that just keeps creeping up on us because we're doing the wrong things too many times on a regular basis. And yeah, as we're saying, it keeps me in business, which is a great thing. But you know, it's not it's not great in terms of what's happening in our society because we're not just choosing better options. So by the time people actually get to people like yourself and others that work in these types of fields, right? Does it kind of surprise you that the amount of, I guess, input that we have is that a lot of these things are somewhat preventable and uh, we sort of can focus on the things that we can, but the things that we, we should be changing, we just don't. Yeah, we just don't. I mean, people always think it's just too hard um, to start changing our lifestyle and actually starting to lead a more healthier uh, options, so to speak. Yeah, just moving is one of the things that we need to do and it's one of the things that we don't do a lot of. How, how much is recommended on, a say, a daily basis that yeah, we look, move? 22 minutes of moderate exercise a day. Now, most of us can achieve that just by getting up and moving and doing a little bit of extra walking because when we're talking about moderate, we're talking about anything over and above what we generally do on a day-to-day basis. So... A lot of people think they have in this idea of their head that they have to go to boot camp, they need to flip tyres, they need to you know, train to the point of vomiting. Um, this is not, a, it's not necessary and it's not essential. It's, it's simple tasks of you know, going for a swim, probably you know, it's getting a bit cold, so not that, but you know, going for a walk, going for a ride, um, getting on a scooter, um, doing some work around the backyard. What I think is one of the funny ones, and this, is, this might sort of basically tell you how our minds work, um, we'll go to, say, a big shopping centre on the weekend to do some shopping. We know that we're going to have to walk a couple of times up and down to get to what we need, okay? Yep. But yet we will go, we will bust our gut to find the car park that is closest to the door of the first shop that we want to go in. Yeah, that's right. So if we just park the furthest away, there's at least at least five five in, five out, and there's 10 minutes straight There's 10 up. minutes right there. I mean, it sounds silly, but people, when they drive to the gym, will, again, find the closest car park they yeah. can to the front door. Yeah, you know, it's simple choices that we don't make, and, and that's a, a prime example of what we class as incidental exercise that yeah you, know, you can do. Take the stairs instead of actually getting on a, in the lift or the escalator. Yeah, you know, we never do that. We never make those options. We'd rather walk further to go and find ourselves somewhere to go up a, an escalator than we'll actually find the steps that are right next to us. <laughs> That's true too. Yeah, and there's some, yeah, there's some studies that have actually shown that, and it's it's beyond ridiculous. They'll wait to get onto a, onto an escalator instead of taking the stairs that are right next door. All right, some of that incidental movement that will get you up to that 22 minutes, and uh, maybe a good way to. Reset your mind on this World Health Day, as, yep. we've, as we've just done with our exercise physiologist, Mark Oswell. Have a great day. Mate, I will see you next week. 2NURFM, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle.